Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren and welcome to our hometown vlog. We're so excited. We're so <laughs> excited. We are here with Ella. Hey y'all. And she normally takes my photos for brand deals and content pictures and everything like that. But today she's the videographer. Videographer today. And she's going to be following me around, showing y'all my hometown, where I grew up, where I went to school, places I like to hang out, things like that. And I'm super duper excited. This has been suggested so much and we're not really sure why. Yeah, we really don't know. It's okay though. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to do it anyways um, because we are home for Thanksgiving break. So come along with us. Right now we are at my old high school and we're just going to be showing you around. So let's get going. Get Welcome to my here. hometown. <laughs> There's a bug. It's gone now. Anyway. Hold on. I'm down bad. I got to collect myself. Okay. Welcome to the hometown vlog. Be scared. Cause you know that I'm This is the front of my high school. Follow me. We're taking you along. Let's go. <laughs> uh, we can't come inside because obviously it's closed mm -hmm. and I feel like that would be weird and cringy anyways. Mm -hmm. But uh, I went to Prattville Christian Academy. We're about to get into some great shade. Thank, Thank goodness. Yeah. I think this school goes through pre-pre-K through 12th grade or kindergarten through 12th grade or something. I'm not sure. So it's like all of it. All in like these like little buildings. Um, yeah, this is the front door. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I used to park my car over there. Um, I'll show you where I ate lunch. No one ever sat with me, but <laughs> I'll show you. Okay, tell us some of your uh, favorite high school memories, Lauren. Oh, okay. So I actually was homeschooled most of my life. Mm -hmm. And so when I actually got to high school and like an actual school, I really like dove into like leadership opportunities and like drama club. I was president of the drama club. Period. Sharpay <laughs> Evans too. Um, so I definitely love doing musicals and plays. And my senior year, I was Wendy and Peter Pan here. Mm. Okay, so this is like the upper high school building where like middle and high school was. And then I think this was just like elementary over here. And so we did have like a cafeteria and a lunchroom, but this is like where you could sit outside if you wanted to eat outside. I personally loved eating outside. I thought it was really nice to get some fresh air. As you can see, the tables are purple. Our colors were purple, gold and black, gold and white or something. I don't know, but we did have to wear uniforms and they were purple. What was your favorite lunch meal to eat? Okay, so we had breakfast and lunch here mm. and they would cater in Chick-fil-A on Fridays. Mm. So I liked eating that. They also had really good chicken sandwiches that I liked, but I normally brought my lunch. But yeah, this is where I went to school. <laughs> so in here is the lunchroom and then also like our stage. So we would have chapel once a week and I was like on like the chapel committee or class or whatever. And you were in charge of creating your own chapel for the whole entire school, mind you, okay? And I created my own show and it was called LN DeGeneres. And I would actually share about God within that and act like I was Ellen DeGeneres and had like a full setup. It was really great. I also participated in the talent show and I won a $50 gift card <laughs> for winning the talent show. I sang in front of the whole entire school and it was quite embarrassing now looking back at it, but I did it. <laughs> Okay, Lauren, did you do plays growing up? Yes. <laughs> okay, where did you do your plays? So I actually got my first lead in this city. So we're going to go to that community theater and I'm gonna show you where I got my first lead. Perfect, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> okay, so also, since we're leaving school, so I lived like 45 minutes to an hour away from this school and I would have to drive here every morning. But our classes started at like 8.15 so it didn't really matter. But y'all know I struggle with math and math is not my strong suit so I would have to get math tutoring that started at 6.30 in the morning. Oh. Okay, so where are we at? <laughs> okay, so we're at the Millbrook Theater. This is where I got my first ever lead. Guess what show it was? Legally Blonde. No, always no. been a dream role. If anyone ever needs an L what's for Legally Blonde, you know where to hit me up. <laughs> but no, I actually got Sandy in Greece. Oh, here. I feel like I knew that. Yes, but Dang. I actually, sorry, we're like right next to like a freeway basically. But I kind of lied. My first ever lead was Annie and Annie, like little orphan redheaded Annie. But that was in middle school and I don't really count that. So this is like my first like big we love girl thing. So let's go up here to the, to the theater. <laughs> hey y'all. <laughs> I can't even do it. We are pulling into the theater. I mean, this brings back so many memes. This is where I found, or I met Taylor for the first time. Okay, show us around, girlfriend. Okay, girl, so this actually looks way more beaten down than what I remember it. <laughs> like, that's actually kind of sad. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you are finding this cringy, we need like a cringe warning. 
because we cannot take ourselves seriously in this moment. Anyways, so this used to be the side door. Can I tell you something? So I was in so many shows here. Like this is how I spent my time and my friends and I, we wouldn't sneak in. Like they would, it would be open, but like they would have like a show going on and we would sneak into the costume room and we would take, well, we wouldn't take costumes, but like we would put them on and like have photo shoots mm -hmm. in here, like while they're having like a full production. But yeah, this is like the side door. I doubt I could get it. Can I try to get it? Please. <laughs> what if an like, alarm goes off? No, I don't think an alarm will go off. No. Oh, Sucked. dang it. Sad. Anyways, um, if you do ever go in here, you will find some very cringy baby photos of me basically because they took like headshots of everyone every time you did a show and they would like put it on like this poster. So there's so many pictures of me in there and it's so embarrassing. If you spot one, it's like spotting Waldo. So. <laughs> what was your favorite show that you did here? Probably Grease because I did meet Taylor. So teased by Taylor, that Taylor. I ended up being her maid of honor in her wedding. We still talk now. So that has to be my favorite because I met so many of my best friends that I'm still in contact with today. But I'm trying to think, oh, I also played Dorothy here, Wizard of Oz, or like it was like Christmas in Oz or something. I was Rapunzel here. I was a lot of different things here. <laughs> oh, I can show you the front while we're talking. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Also, the reason why I spent a lot of my time like in this city is because my hometown doesn't really have a lot. So I count this as still part of like my hometown because there's really nothing in Wetumpka, which is where we're going next. But this is kind of the front of the building. Oh, when we did do Greece, someone had like this old car, like from the fifties that was parked out here. And I had to get in there with the guy that played Danny. We did have a showmance. <laughs> Um, he did ghost me and is now married. So I hope, Joe, you're doing great. Slay. Uh, <laughs> slay, Joe, slay. But yeah, also after rehearsals, we would go to Sonic. So let's head off to Sonic and I'll show you where I spent my late night times. <laughs> okay, so this is the Sonic. We would always like get out and hang out. It was more like when you did like bigger productions, when you did shows with like smaller groups of people, we really didn't come here. But while we're here, we're gonna grab some things. I always got the mozzarella sticks and the pretzel twist, favorite thing here. So, love. <laughs> okay, so we definitely stopped at a pit stop for Sonic. We're hungry. We're hungry, we're so we decided to get it. But you normally pull up, like right over there, if you're not familiar with what Sonic is, you pull up and then like you order, like you just, you park and eat. A but drive-in moment. Yes, a drive-in moment, but um, they told us we had to go through the drive-thru, which kind of killed the moment, but we're taking a little pit stop. So we figured we'd have to take you by here just because it made sense. So we are now in Wetumpka. So this is actually like where I grew up, grew up. So before I went to PCA, I graduated from PCA, obviously. I did two years here at Wetumpka High School. Absolutely hated it. I just have like very mixed emotions. I have a full like high school experience that I put up in like 2019 if you want to actually watch Right before I left here, I made the cheer team and I cheered at one game <laughs> and it was the jamboree and that's when I left to go to Prattville Christian. So let's go where I did my only cheer routine. game. <laughs> routine. <laughs> Not routine. Like I also was on the tennis team here. Oh, we're about to go over this huge speed bump. Is that the tennis courts over there? Yeah. The janky ones over there. <laughs> well, that is where I played tennis. And everyone told me that I wasn't good. And I don't know if you know what tennis is like, but normally it's like first seed, second seed, third seed. And I had like gotten all the way up like pretty high within like the season because I was tired of people telling me that I was bad at it. And I was like, I'll show you. <laughs> okay, so this is the football field. I think they have like a new bougier one now, but this is where I cheered my one and only game. It actually was very scary because I had to throw all of my tumbling and I fully wasn't prepared and almost fell on my neck, but I didn't. So I guess it turned out fine anyways. What was your favorite tumbling pass to throw? Back handsprings. Cause you could just like keep doing them like over and over and over mm -hmm. again. Also, I want to apologize. I feel like I was a little salty and rude when I went to the high school. I didn't fully hate it. I feel like there were parts that I liked and enjoyed. Just like the overall experience wasn't good. So you know, you have like a bad taste in your mouth. I have no hard feelings towards anyone or anything. I just was really taking out some of my anger and having a therapy session just then. So I sincerely apologize. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't think anything else happened here. Period. <laughs> yeah, that's it. What's your favorite concert you've ever been to? Well, I've only gone to Cody Simpson in Five Seconds of Summer. Who's, wait, I forgot who Cody Simpson. Oh, wait, I went to Justin Bieber. Duh, oh, Justin you, Bieber. Do your best Justin Bieber impression. <laughs> oh. I can't. Okay, so remember when I said that I did Annie? Like I was Annie and Annie. This is where I performed it. Um, this definitely got closed down because of like mold issues. 
So no casual. Can go, casual. <laughs> no one can go in here. We definitely shouldn't have been in there when we were. But like all throughout my middle school, like I did plays in here and in high school. So this is like the front entrance, like where people would line up to like get their tickets and all that stuff. And then there was like this side door. Oh, also, if you're a theater person, oh, it's also Olive Ostrowski. I think that was the last show I did here in Spelling Bee, which was really fun. I got to wear pink overalls and I still wear those till this day. But okay, so I have a funny story time for y'all. <laughs> Lord. So, okay, so you see this side door right here? You better zoom in. <laughs> okay, so that side door is where you would go. Like, if you needed to go to the opposite side of the stage, like backstage, you would have to go outside and go all the way around the building. It was weird. Anyways, in one of my shows in high school, I'm literally about to call this guy out right now. <laughs> Please. So, um, when I was in high school at Wetumpka, there was a guy that had a girlfriend that I was unaware of <laughs> at the time, and he was in a show with me, and he was, like, flirting with me, talking with me, like, we would hang out all the time, and, um, we would come out this side door, and we would kiss right here. <laughs> We would kiss, and he was like, you know, we have to keep it down low, like, we need to keep it secret, aka every single man that I ever talked to in high school. That's why I ended up having trust issues later on in life. This man kept like, oh, no, like, it's, like, hush, hush, quiet, like, no one needs to know about us. Come to find out after that show, he definitely did have a girlfriend. I feel really bad about it, but again, I feel, like, salty. <laughs> Okay, so now we're like in downtown of my hometown and Ella, do you remember when the tornado came by here? Yeah, girl. Well, no, like the year. Sorry. Oh, uh, 2018? 2018. Wait, no, 2019. 2019. 20 yeah, because I was in uh, Alabama. Yeah, it was 2019. But there was a tornado that went through our hometown that like destructed, destructed, is that the right word? Destroyed. Destroyed a lot of like our history of like downtown where if you want to see this is like a little bridge i don't know do you know the significance of this bridge it's been here for a long time okay well <laughs> thank you for that one <laughs> anyways if you want to see more of my hometown what was it hometown takeover on hgtv mm -hmm. they like completely redid a lot of our downtown area that got destroyed by the tornado also ella's parents owns a couple things down here they do shameless <laughs> Frio's Wait, is plug. that a coffee shop oh, coming? It's, it's gonna be. Oh my goodness. Okay, where did I go? Look at the Frio's van. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, this is the little backside of the bridge. So it just like connects, I guess, like just downtown to the. What does this do, Ellen? I feel like you know way more. Okay, so this. this bridge connects the business district to the residential district over here. Look at Ella. Makes sense? It makes sense. Okay. It makes sense. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, it's really pretty. Like you can see like all the fall foliage and like the river. The right river. Here. She's so cute. So cute. <laughs> also, there's a farmer's market over there. Don't know if you can see it. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're next to this Frio's truck. Um, did Frio start here, Ella? You're like my walking, like, encyclopedia uh, right now. They have multiple locations. My parents own the one that's in Wetumpka. Okay, yes. cute. They're like little popsicles and they're mm -hmm. really good. We would get these at PCA sometimes, really? which that makes sense. What's if, your favorite flavor? Um, like it, it was like a birthday cake or something. <gasps> okay, someone said they wanted to see this grumpy dog. This is a hot dog joint right here. Yep. Okay, so we're in downtown right now and they've redone a lot of it. Apparently there's really cute shops over here and we haven't even looked at them, but we're about to go to Ella's parents place the mercantile yes so yeah. let's go inside <laughs> i really like it it's really cute everything is basically decorated for christmas mm -hmm. have you been to swirls the new ice cream place it's an ice cream place it's delicious you need to go soft serve i should have shown you where um i filmed that movie in montgomery what movie um it was actually about rosa parks it wasn't oh. this one it wasn't this one um <laughs> how coincidental <laughs> <laughs> i doesn't make me think of it um but it was a lucas till it was called son son of the south lucas till yes girl you, my you, scene was with lucas till you, met you can him? only see me like a little set bit like in the corner did you meet him in real life yes girl oh my gosh he's the one from the you belong, with, and the you belong with me music video yes girl i can't anyway. <laughs> okay ella doesn't want to talk about her parents shop but i will <laughs> Cut, please. No, Nick, no. <laughs> Anyways, hello, Donna, if you're watching this. That's Ella's mom. Um, but we're in her little cutie shop. It has lots of fun, like little knickknacks. And how would you like describe this, Ella? A little bit of everything, honestly. A little bit of everything. I noticed these over here, and these are like little candles. And it has to deal with stuff like within Wetumpka. I used to live in Redland, fun fact. The strawberry scented, because there used to be strawberry fields there. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, I've taken pictures in Jasmine Hill before. 
That one is very interesting. Also, I'm very interested to know what these taste like. They're good. Yeah, they're good. What's your favorite flavor? Um, probably, uh, we don't have it right now, but yeah. cherry cola is really good too. Ooh. Okay, remember when I was telling you about the hometown takeover thing? Those are the people. <laughs> Go check them out. I don't know these people, but they did a really good job. Okay, so obviously we just got done in downtown Matumka, so I'm gonna be taking you to where my very first job was. Let's go. Okay, so this looks really, really sketchy <laughs> right now. This is no longer what it used to be, but this used to be Titans Gymnastics and Cheer, and I was actually a gymnastics coach because I did gymnastics as a kid, and actually Ella did gymnastics here. I did. Fun. <laughs> um, she did competitive gymnastics too, and I was a little, Gymnastics coach here, and I coach like the littles, like the little the preschoolers. Littles. Yeah, the preschoolers, and then I also did like some tumbling classes and stuff. But yeah, this was my very first job in high school. Yeah. You saved the best for last. <laughs> no, it's Hunka Depot. So this whole entire tour has basically been just like me showing you different theater places I've done theater. But this was like kind of the last place I did a lot of my shows before COVID hit and I was like gone to Alabama and stuff. Um, I actually did a competition show here. It was called The Diviners. And we like, I don't even know how to explain it, but basically like, you went through like several competitions and like we kind of like went all over like the country with it. And it was a lot of fun. Um, it was but, literally one of the best shows I've ever seen at the Depot. Yeah, like it was so Oh, good. <laughs> Ella came to take pictures of it before like we started working together and everything. But uh, we wished Christy was here. We do. I also met Mary Catherine here, my friend Reese here, Matthew here. There's, I like, love them. I love <laughs> everyone. So They're so sweet. I haven't been back here like literally since I think I did that show or maybe I came to see a show. But this is like still in downtown area and it's right next to the river. So that same river we were showing you like with the bridge is like right down here. And a lot of people like to picnic down there too. Um, Fun fact, when I lived in my hometown, I worked for a party princess business and I would actually have birthday parties in that park down there like dressed as Elsa and like Cinderella and it was quite humbling. But um, yeah, that's my hometown vlog. Shout out to Ella for helping us film everything. Do you wanna help me end it out, Ella? No, <laughs> hold on, I gotta think. Okay, what was your favorite show that you did at the depot? Probably the diviners because it went on for so long. We were doing the show for almost a full year and I met so many amazing people and I got to like travel with them. So I got to spend a lot of time with them and we became such a close family and it was a lot, a lot of fun. I wish I was vlogging at that point in my life because that would have been so fun to look back on. But yeah, a lot of great memories. Were we ever in a play together? Why do I can't remember. I don't think we were. That's so sad. I know. So sad. I'm making Ella in this out with me even though she doesn't want to but thank you guys so much for watching this video shout out to ella we for had so much helping. fun we had so we much really fun did. spending the day together now you get to go home and prep for thanksgiving because thanksgiving is tomorrow we hope that you had a very merry thanksgiving bye y'all <laughs>